Nice. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Today's the 31st. Well, welcome to Tuesdays with Todd. And uh, so I had a interesting phone call the other day. Uh, I had a, had a gal call and uh, she's an agent uh, in a different market. And she, she said, hey, listen, I know this is random, but um, I want to grow my business. And I'm just wondering if you might be willing to help me. And, and for those of you that have worked with me, you know exactly what my next question was. Yes, I would love to. Tell me about your business. Tell me about your numbers. And I thought it was hilarious because uh, her response was, oh, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm no good at that. Like, I, I don't I don't track numbers. Like, that's just not my thing. And um, my response to her was, listen, you, you may not be good at tracking your numbers, quote unquote, yet. Uh, if you want a repeatable business, if you want a consistent business, if you want one that actually want one that actually achieves its goals, you will track your numbers. That is just the way it is. Uh, for those of you that watch the show, uh, The Prophet, uh, Marcus Lemonis, I think is his last name, um, talks specifically about if you don't know your numbers, you don't know your business. Uh, Ray Dalio, pretty successful dude, uh, talks about how what you focus on is what actually grows. Uh, so I, I, was, I was thinking about different ways that numbers are super, super important to us. And so I, I've got some examples for you. Did you know that if I wanted to lose just one pound, one single pound, all I need to do is reduce my consumption by 500 calories each day? Just, that's it. Or I can increase my, my uh, cardio burn, right, and burn an additional 500. 500. That's it. Each day, one pound lost in one week. Pretty good, right? Did you know that if I wanted to save $10,000 a year, just $10,000 cash, I just want to go on an epic vacation, right? All I need to do is cut my expenses by $28 each day. Just 28, that's all. Or of course I can increase my income by $28, right? Two, two ways to do it, but it's about the numbers. If I want to make $100,000 in one year, all I need to do is increase my income by $274. $274 a day equals $100,000 in income. And the truth of the matter is, is like that sounds pretty simple and really, really easy. And the reason it sounds simple and really easy is because it's really simple and it's really easy. See, see the challenge that we all have today is that we are constantly pounded uh, with information. Like there's all these people that have got these really fancy words and they're wearing these fancy clothes and driving these fancy cars. And they're telling us that, oh, hey, do this and do that. And, oh, I trust me and blah, blah, blah. Listen, you all, it's all BS. I'm, I'm going to try not to cuss today, right? It's all BS. The truth of the matter is it's really, really simple. It's really all about the numbers. And we have 123 days left in this year. And I'm going to walk you through a series of questions <clears throat> that I want you to be able to ask yourself so that you can make sure that the last 123 days are exactly the 123 days that you want. Right. And by the way, I'm going to ask you to do this. Okay. Your managers, your managing directors, your leaders, I, I'm going to, I'm going to venture to guess that they track their numbers. What do you think? I'm going to challenge you to pick up the phone, text your managers right now, ask them a question about their numbers, ask them what the average per person productivity is. Hmm? Ask them how many agents they have to have in order to be profitable. Hmm? Ask them what their goal is and how many phone calls or how many appointments they need each week in order to achieve their goals. I'm going to tell you right now, those are some smart people in those offices. Those are some smart people that you're counting on. They are coaches, by the way. You can't coach something you don't actually know. So I challenge you, reach out to them. But I'm going to, I'm going to walk you through a series of things, right? So, so number one, what do you want to make in the next 123 days? I, take, take a moment, write this stuff down, right? So what do you want to make in the next 123 days? Second question to you is, what's your average commission? On, on a deal, what's your average commission? And, and how many deals do you need to close by the end of the year to hit that goal? Right? Uh oh, we're in math. Oh, no. It's amazing to me how real estate agents that are really, really bad at math can calculate the 3% commission at the top of their head. Anyway, um, so how many deals do we need to close by the end of the year to hit our goal? And are, are you going to do listings or are you going to do buyers in this market? And like trick question, that's not really so trick, right? Like listings rule right now. So of course we, we know that that's the answer. Uh, how many of your listings actually sell, right? That's that I bring on a list or 10 listings. How many of those actually sell your closing percentage? 
And and if I went on ten listing appointments before before I like I, you have to be honest with yourself here, right? Don't drink your own Kool Aid. But if you went on ten listing appointments, ten opportunities to talk to somebody about the value of their home, whether or not they want to sell, how many of them will actually list with you? All right, that's that's a percentage. And how many appointments do you need to go on to get that number of listings? Number eight. If you had to go on that many appointments, how many people would you need to call to get those appointments? And then lastly, what's your number? Now, I lost most of you at about three or four, right? And so I'm going to go through and I'm going to give you the actual math so that you know exactly how this thing works. And it's really not that hard. I just want to frame it for you so that it's doable and it's doable right now. Okay. So I'm going to use $100,000. By the way, did I mention that there is 123 days left in the year? And if I want to make $100,000 just in the next 123 days, all those that would like to make an extra 100K, please raise your hand. All right. Uh, there better be hands going like crazy right now. An extra $100,000. This is how to do it. Really, really simple. My average commission that, my, that I take home is $7,000. Okay. That's the number I'm using. What's yours? In order to earn $100,000 then in the next 123 days, I take a $100,000 divided by $7,000. That tells me I need to close 15 transactions in the next 123 days in order to make $100,000. Got it? All right. So because listings are absolutely the sure thing, and of course, I'm a listing machine, right? I, uh, by the way, I close 90% of the listings that I bring in the market because the market's in fuego, right? I need to bring on 17 new listings in order to close 15, okay? So I take 15 transactions divided by 0 0.90, right, 90%. That gives me 17 listings at a 90% closing gives me 15 sites. So now finding people to list their properties is a little bit tougher today. We know that, right? Because, well, you know, like we talk to a lot of people, but we get all kinds of, of people, oh gosh, I don't know, where am I gonna go? And what am I gonna do? It's okay, right. So so I'm only getting about 65% of the people that I actually talk to about their values and talk to about their listings that are actually listing their property. Crazy times, right? All right, no problem. Um, so what that means, though, is that I have to go on 27 listing appointments to get 17 listings, okay? 17 listings divided by 0.65, 65% equals 27 appointments, all right? Follow me with the math? All right. So because finding people interested in selling is a lot tougher these days, it's taking me more phone calls, right? Remember, we talk about how many phone calls to get an appointment? Right. So right now, that number is about 54 calls. Um, I, I just did some research on that, by the way. Your number may be different, uh, but, but sort of industry standard right now takes 54 phone calls to your database, your past clients, your sphere of influence, your community, your circle dialing, your neighborhoods, your farm to, to get an appointment. Right. <clears throat> so let's do the math. 54 calls equals one appointment. Then 27 appointments is what I need times 54 calls equals 1,458 phone calls. My math teacher from sixth grade would be so mad at me right now. I'm sorry, 1,458, there's no and. 1,458 calls. All right, so last of the remaining 123 days, I'm likely going to work, let's call it 100. All right, I'm gonna take 23 days off. Oh, there's Thanksgiving and yeah, there's Christmas and, you know, I don't know. Maybe I want to play golf, right? So I'm going to take 23 days off in the last 123 days. That gives me 100 days. So I take 1,458 calls. I divide it by 100 days that I'm going to work. And my number is 15, right? That's my number. That's my number, y'all. 15 phone calls every single day is going to get me that's it. 15 calls is going to give you 1,458 phone calls this year, 27 appointments, 17 listings, 15 closes, and $100,000 in income. It's easy. It's easy. It, it really is easy. Here's the crazy thing. 91% of you aren't going to do it. 
That's the truth of the matter. I get it. You may not be good at math yet, <clears throat> but if you want a consistent, repeatable business, you will make an effort to do this math to figure out what your number is so that you can have the outcomes. I just gave you the exact formula to make $100,000 in the next 123 days. Will you be one of the 9% that do? As always, be distinctive.